Shanahan basically went through four defensive coordinators, three offensive coordinators, and a GM in the last five years. Nothing ever worked. So Pat Bolin, who we thought would never give up on Mike, said farewell, Mike, this afternoon. One of two faces of the modern-day Broncos, John Elway, Mike Shanahan, together, two Super Bowl championships. But Mike, without John, never the same. One playoff win in the last 10 years. And Invesco Field has never been like Mile High. In 06, the Bronx lost to the Niners to end the season with the playoffs on the line. Then losing to the awful Raiders at home this season. Losing to the Bills in the home finale when they could have clinched the division title. Then the 52-21 disaster in San Diego on national TV to end the season. Yikes, a three-year stretch, 24-24. and -24. No postseason appearances. One of the worst defenses in the league over that stretch. And after all that, you know what? He's the hottest coach on the market right now. Mike can take his pick of open jobs. And according to Mike's close friend, the NFL Network's Adam Schefter. I would imagine that Mike Shanahan goes virtually to the top of every team's list that is looking for a head coach at this point in time. I think there will be teams that have head coaches in place that will have to ask themselves if they would be better served with Mike Shanahan as their head coach or their current head coach. So I don't think Mike Shanahan will be on the sidelines very long. My respect for him as a, as a man, as a coach, as a teacher, um, if there was something I ever I ever wanted or needed, Mike would give it to me. My personal feeling for Mike is one that I'm always going to cherish that and I'm always going to put him up there with the best coach in my life, whether it was high school, college, or whatever it might be, Mike Shanahan's the guy. All right, well, Keith Prevo is live at Dove Valley tonight. And Keith, Mike brought this city the best of times, but he couldn't get it together in recent times. Yeah, that's right, Lionel. You, you said it. Mike ruled the city of Denver after back-to-back -back titles in the late 90s, but a rocky road over the last 10 years cost the mastermind his job. No, boss. We did it. We did it, man. We did it. In just his third year as the head coach of the Broncos, Shanahan took Denver to the top of the mountain. Back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins. Elway retires in 99, and the Broncos feel the pain struggling for years to find a new identity and regain their glory. Finally, in 2005, Denver goes 13-3 and, and returns to the AFC Championship with Jake Plummer at the helm. A loss to the Steelers and a first-round quarterback selection in the draft means Plummer is on the way out. Sure enough, after starting the 06 season 7-4, Plummer is pulled for the rookie, Jay Cutler. The Broncos miss the playoffs go seven and nine the next year and then blow a three game lead with three games to play this season and Shanahan falls from cloud nine to the unemployment line. Obviously I didn't do a good enough job getting these guys ready uh, to play at the level you need to play to win. Wow. Now, and what's crazy to think Lionel is one more win this season. We're not even talking about this. Exactly. They make the playoffs. He's safe Boy, the difference in Mike. Back in the day, and Mike after Sunday, incredible. All right, a thanks a lot, Keith. You bet.